here we are in Bloodborne. Trying to trying to get some boss action done here. Tried a couple of times to uh, defeat Father G last time, <clears throat> but uh, Father G was having pretty much none of it. So hopefully, hopefully I can do. Bit of a better job this time. What do I have for Blood Echoes 1693? That might be enough to give me a little. Welcome home, something. good hunter. What is it you desire? So, Very well. Blood Echoes. Let the echoes channel. become your strength. Level up. Level up. up, up, up Let up. me stand close. Now shut your eyes. forgot to uh, buy blood vials from the bath messengers. Whoopsie. Well, if if I don't get enough from just fighting enemies, I am streaming. It's a stream of, of me doing things. Plan Bloodborne. How are you this morning, Bill? Yeah, I think I might stick with the circle camera. I wasn't sure about it at first, but kind of makes a nice distinction between my PC streaming and my PlayStation streaming. Well, I hope you do shake it off. I, um, I mean, there's any number of reasons to feel kind of meh. I hope that it is just a, a transient sort of thing. I know. Uh, has a, a very um, very quick very aggressive move set so I know it, I know it felt weird to not have D and D last night I wonder I wonder if that has anything to do with feeling meth this morning. was definitely the right call, but uh, it, it always feels weird to, even just for something to be different. Uh, I got squashed. Yeah, the, I, I need to remember to use the whip more often, because it is, it is mighty sweet. Alright, I, I figure these, these, um, these brutes here, these, I call them ogres. Trolls, trolls is what I call them. Ogre, ogre is what I call the big guy. Yeah, these, these guys I had originally called trolls. The ones with the baby stones. They're good, they're good parrying practice. Alright, so I got 12 quick server bullets. Locked on, it's 
switches targets. straight for Father G or do I want to take a long... I think I want to take a long roundabout way. I want to warm up a little bit. Go through Dogtown. Dogtown, where the dogs are. Woof woof. Where's that dog? It's got his back to me. does my camera does cover up the name of where I am but that's that's all right I'll tell you that it is central Yarnum is, is where we are right now a little bit more parry practice. on rude lady's door. Just say hi. I've heard I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always enough. Well, if you want to talk your ass, you wouldn't be in this mess. That's why you I call her rude you lady. Me, you here. <laughs> so what, Lebe? Are you going to tell me you're not? Yeah, I should have known. Yes, good for nothing. Some someday I'll I'll find out who my manager is and then that lady can speak to them.
have some Quicksilver bullets. Three of them. to be in. Curbs. Get some sweet pebbles out for this one. Noise. I had him, but he still had like 10 or 20 hit points. Okay. 13 of 11. That's not quite as much as I want. Yeah, it might be worth a try. Hello, little girl. I'm probably not going to knock on your window. Um, let's, let's just clear the area. Put a lot of blood echoes, maybe level up a couple of times. Buy some, um, which we call them, blood vials. This area should have some burbs in it. Actually, the whip should be great. Oh, 
no, I'm thinking of a different courtyard. I think these these people will just tell me to go away if I knock on their door. I don't reckon you're from round here. I guess well, I'm not from dear. round here. Uh -huh. Stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> She laughed at me. Alright. Uh, okay, okay, I'm in the right place. Just different sides of the courtyard. He just wants to get to the party. the first part of the multi-attack, then I can parry the middle of it? Something along those lines. Okay. So, this is not actually getting me to Father G, but that's alright. I'm just farming for blood vials right now. circle back around to the lantern, which is good, because then I can go back to the hunter's dream. No, no, it gets to the high bridge. It's a different angle on the high bridge. Yep, yep, and there's the wargs. another tall boy on the other side of this like canal area. There it is. It doesn't do much damage per hit, but it has such reach. Reach 
is very far. Okay, so Rat Town down below. Are there are there items that I've missed here? I remember there was one that was like on one of these beams. But it's not this area. Where is that's not a red no, that's a yellow lantern. It's just lanterns down there, not items. Oh, another tall boy. Oh that's a spiky tall boy. the item I was thinking of. My head's c covering it up right now, but it's on that beam. Right below. I'm at 20 blood vials. So that's I'm all full up. Let me see if I can land on this uh, beam without falling. Slow, I should be able to stay on it. Thick cold blood five. That should be nice later on when I need to crush it for souls. Blood echoes. Ah, oh, rat. And a spiky tall boy. Where did you come from? Garb, hunter gloves, hunter trousers. Excellent. Excellent. Let's put some rats. Also considerably slower than game mode, but it hits so many targets and it's got such long range. Taco. Oh. oh yeah, the tall boy that I knocked off. <laughs> that is my kid.
that's all. I think. Ooh, bloodstone shard. Alright, verbs. Do I want to try to fight the pig or just run past it? maneuvers that you do when, when converting weapons in this game. That sounds like birds. Crows. The carrion variety. Now that's a nice view of architecture. Ah, okay, it's Fireball Town. The, the lead up to Father G. I might I might just go for him, but that would mean I'd have to get back to him to get all these blood echoes back if I die. So maybe what I want to do is, is actually trace back to to the lantern. Oh, I mistimed that one. I can't reach the... I can't reach the item! Oh, no, oh, oh. It gave me, gave me the prompt almost. Come on. Oh. oh, I think it's gone forever. Oh, come on. It's probably a shard, too. I, want, oh, I got it. It was a shard. Okay, my persistence paid off. Uh, but now, back, back to the hunter's dream. Uh, I, I, I want to see what this ladder just like shoot down the ladder. Wow, this is super long. Somebody's flapping around in there. All right, and I am behind the pig. You know, I think I don't want to deal with the pig right now. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna go back to the hunter's dream. I, w I will have to deal with that pig. I, w I don't have to deal with the pig, but I would like to um, just defeat it once, see what items it has, get all the blood echoes, and so on and so forth. I think it doesn't count as a boss that in that, like, even if I defeat it, it will come back, so it's more like these guys uh, and the works, and not like uh, a boss boss. Alright, what's my, what's my way back to the Hunter's Dream elevator? Yes. Going up doesn't affect me. Oh, and I also got... I got some new clothes. Uh, I don't need to be in the Hunter's Dream to try them on, but I may as well just get there and do all my stuff in the safety of the dream. Thumeru Root Chalice. Root Chalice that breaks multiple labyrinth seals. So, labyrinth... I don't think I've been to a labyrinth in this game yet, but I've heard the word uh, bandied about. So, alright, ba bathtub messenger, give me some blood vials, please and thank you. Wait, how, how many? Uh, I have 19. What if I, how, if I buy two items exceeding maximum placed in storage? Fine. Quicksilver bullets. Let's. I probably don't want to buy 28. I want to buy 17 just to top me off at 20. Ah, these, these are expensive. Five Molotovs. That's fine. Uh. What else is for sale? Anything interesting? Nope. <laughs> okay. So, before I level up or anything, let me check and see if I can upgrade my weapons at all. Fortify. Threaded cane. 260 blood echoes and 5 shards. Yes, please. Alright. Threaded cane plus 3. Nice. Nice. Let's see, I would need five shards to upgrade the pistol anymore. Uh, I need to repair anything? No. It seems like weapon repair is less necessary in Bloodborne, at least at the levels that I've played it at, uh, than in Dark Souls. And 1,325, that should be enough for one level. Welcome home, good hunter. Thank you, good... What is it you desire? Well. Very Chill well. Blood echoes. Let the echoes become your strength. Alright. Good me morning, Kurai. Close. How are you now today? Shut your eyes. Wanted to say, uh, Among Us last night was super fun. I, I hope that the excited parts of it were not uh, too painful after the fact. It, uh, I feel like it's a game where it's easy to get excited, uh, but hopefully the excitement subsides and returns to, to an amicable baseline. Attribute. There we go. Glad to hear that you're good. Farewell, All right. good hunter. All right. Back into the fray. Let's let's just go straight. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the impression I got. I just kind of wanted to check in and 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 make sure that uh, it was it was um, impressively vehement. And uh, yeah, no excitement can be a good thing. And, and to fill in anybody else in chat who's wondering, we were playing Among Us, and Kurai's child uh, at one point 
was absolutely convinced that uh, uh, Kurai's partner was the killer, was one of the imposters, and and just would not let it go, and it was amazing. <laughs> I mean, as an imposter, I'd like, I just, I gotta get into it. Alright, looking for Father G. Like, I feel like, I feel like sometimes I am like a really, really good imposter, and sometimes I just love it terribly. And both are fun. I was especially amused by the time when Peach and I were the imposters, and, and Peach went for an early kill, and, and somebody immediately accused him, and uh, he was like, yeah, I got nothing. You saw me. Sometimes that happens, just like, you do the thing and then like all of a sudden people come around the corner and uh, catch you red-handed. But for me that's, that's a lot of the fun of Among Us, is, is that variety of like, Sometimes, sometimes you just get caught, and sometimes you are as slick as anything, and just like a ninja assassin. Got greedy and got caught. It's so, it's so tempting. Like if you're just like in a hallway with somebody, and you can, you can make that like make a kill. Here comes the fireball. And it, it can be hard to be patient in situations like that. But sometimes, sometimes you do exercise that patience and it pays off. What was the term? Marinating? Where, where like you convince somebody that you are well to be trusted and gen then just let them believe that for the whole game and then turn on them at the last minute when, when it's down to one more... I feel like I'm well prepared for Father G now. Let's see what we can do. Traversing the nightmare fog. It's hard to predict. Ah, don't dodge into his face. Yeah, 
basically, like, I'm finding it a little more difficult because I'm using the threaded cane instead of the axe. The axe, the axe is such a powerful weapon, as you can see by Father G here using it. Stop shooting me. I do love that my, my repose does a huge chunk of damage to him. Oh, he changed his act. Alright, halfway there. Halfway there. Ah. combo thinger. I blasted him, but I got stunned. Uh-oh. No gravestones. Sometimes the gravestones are a help, but usually they get in the way. I hate when I get stunned as I'm carrying him. Carrying squirrel, yes indeed. Yeah, I, I, when I pull it off, I love the quicksilver parry in this game. There we go. Oh, that was a lunge that I couldn't didn't have the right timing for. Ow. Sometimes he's super duper fast. Man opener. No. I gotta back off and heal. Oh, Father G, you're, you're a big jerk meanie. I need to... Down to three blood vials. Okay. Oh, I think that was totally... Uh-oh. one I have I have a saw spear um, but I've been sticking with only the the threaded cane um, and I don't know if I want to stick with the threaded cane for the entire run but I figured I wanted to do sort of a finessey kind of thing the description sawed weapons deal more damage to me so what it might that's a good point Nick that, that if I if I switch to the saw spear after Father G transforms, then uh, then I should be able to just damage him down. Because it seemed like I got him down to about a third health uh, by the time I got wrecked there. I did run myself through all 20 blood vials, though. But the sod edge must hit, so thrust spear and transform cleaver won't do it. So, just to practice a little bit, this is swingy, swingy mode. And only the heavy attack is a thrust, so it's it's got to hit with the teeth. And let's see. Looks like both moves when it's when it's collapsed like this are swings. So and that that heavy swing basically uses half of my half of my stamina. So I probably will avoid using that. Oh, the inner edge 
It looks like there's teeth on the... Oh, maybe not. So I guess there's, there's like a length at the very tip that has none teeth at all, but it does look like it has teeth on both sides, but... I think, I think my, my play is probably just going to be like, keep it, keep it short and just go for light swings. But mainly I'm going to be using the threaded cane. get some more blood echoes so I can afford to replenish my uh, vial and bullet supply. But yeah, I had forgotten that, um, that the sawtoothed ones had that extra piece damage. And that probably helps with wargs as well. Factory, yeah. Yeah, that that like those guys with the paving stones, the ones I call trolls, uh, always give blood vials or coins. Like not always blood vials. Usually blood vials, sometimes coins. And uh, the ones I call tall boys often get blood loss as well. And yeah, uh, Noter was saying that, that Central Yarnum in general is designed to be a good place for farming those resources. Cherry Coke Factory. I like it. <laughs> playthrough I fought the Cleric Beast. In this one we've seen him once and got immediately squashed. Uh, so I should probably, I mean given that the Cleric Beast is a beast the whole time, I should probably just use the saw to all, all of the time in that fight. Seems like those guys do pretty consistently give three Quicksilver bullets. I think I've seen two and maybe four sometimes, but almost always. <laughs> Just go, go for the backside. That that is that is the soul's way. <laughs> positioning there with the both riflemen having shots on me and the, the spiky tall boy being right there. I probably should have backed off and let them kind of rearrange themselves. But I, I can easily get there and, and retrieve my souls. Probably it's a good... Let's see, I'll leave it on Pebble. Pebbles are thrilling. I kind of wonder what organ I'm grabbing when I do that repost backstab thing. Yeah, the, the main thing is, like, the riflemen were knocking me out of my attacks and just, just staggering me a little bit, which was really annoying. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to put on my other armor. Not that it'll matter much, but I want to 
to see what it looks like. Oh, we're both still up. That carry pin. Oh, come on. I have spoken to Gilbert. He, he told me all about the high bridge. And we can we can go listen to him cough a little bit some more because it's it has been a while. Um, right. I was gonna put on armor. That's that's what distracted me from finishing those guys off. All right. So right now, I've got the Yarnum Hunter cap. It looks like the Hunter hat has a few 50s where the cap had 40s. Hunter garb looks just slightly better in several respects. Although Yarnum Hunter gloves actually seem... They've got better piercy rust protection, but worse overall physical defense. I'm gonna go with the balanced Hunter gloves. Just go, go with full-on Hunter outfit. It's a little bit different, fewer fewer dangly things on it. I kind of liked the chains and stuff hanging off the Yarnum Hunter one. But I, I really, I quite like the mask on this one and, and the, the flare of the hat. Although I've, Father G's hat is my favorite so far. Oh right, right, Gilbert. Oh, so Gilbert has more dialogue after I beat the bosses? Yes, I see. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the Cathedral Ward. Yeah. That the, the, the atmosphere the the bridge is closed. in this game mm -hmm. is... You could try the aqueduct. You could try the aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, colorful area south of the Great Bridge. I think he means smell. There, an aqueduct leads to the cathedral ward. <laughs> Not at point I don't imagine you have Oops. much of a choice, do you? But yeah, like all the all the little crunchy bits on the on the spires. <laughs> an aqueduct leads from the town south of the main bridge to the cathedral ward. Not a place you'd normally choose to visit, but. Not much of a choice with the bridge closed. Yeah, I still haven't beaten the pig. Um, I've been saving that for later. Alright. Paving stone dude has glowing eyes. I want to get my souls back. If I shoot him before he even attacks, it's not Medulla. Oh, I hate it when they group up like this. skill build given that I'm using the, the threaded cane like right now uh, what I've got is sort of a balance um, uh, I think I started with 11 or 12 strength I forget which background I chose it was like noble I think is what I chose um, so I had a, a, a decently high blood tinge Qual quality build yeah I might I might stick with the quality build just just kind of even um, so I have no, I have, I have full blood vials, but no quicksilver bullets. I think I'm just gonna... 
Yeah, I'd be interested to see, like, after the threat it came, what, like, quality or uh, skill type weapons there are. Because my other... <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, the, the riflemen and... I mean, basically the riflemen are the ones that, uh, that I can farm bullets off of. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> the Dark House. Um, that guy always has some, some silver bullets as well. I think, I think for this, this particular attempt, I'm, I'm gonna just make blood bullets. Hope that's good enough. Oh, that guy had some silver bullets anyway. So I got two real ones. And, uh make blood bullets, so I, I think I'm going to try it this way. Might not be the best idea. Um, yeah, I gotta... So what I might do is um, just do that. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't give me much time to rally after the blood thing. out at five blood, blood, blood bullets. It's easier to rally with it. Yeah, it's true. But, I mean, if these guys drop blood vials, I'll be back up to full down. Either my fingers are doing a wrong thing, or the controller's doing a wrong thing, or the game just was in a state, like, being out of stamina, where it just wasn't supposed to respond to button presses. Okay. I don't think I'm losing any input. I'm not having input lag. Like, I always play wirelessly on my controllers, but, I mean, the PS4 is barely a meter from, from my controller. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually like when I'm doing those rapid light swings. Even if I run out of stamina, I've been staggering the enemy enough that find it a little frustrating when I successfully uh, Quicksilver parry, but they've already hit me enough to send me back far away and injure me. Ah, little jump. 
going through Dogtown. Gonna kill Frenchman. Although uh, we're very close to Dark House. Do you grab the, the five clicks of bullets you mentioned in there? Where, where is Dark House? Oriented. Where? Oh, right. Dark House is before this area. Yep. 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 Cherry Coke Factory. <laughs> All right. Dark House. This guy. This guy. You said always has. Oh, so maybe, maybe he should have had five, but he used one? Thank you for the sub, Nafi. Riot, riot, riot. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't mind the backseating, Nick. Like, if, if, if you give me some advice that I don't like, I may just ignore it. But so far, it's all been good advice, and it hasn't been too spoilery. Um, so yeah, after, after I uh, grab some quicksilver bullets from the guys down here, I can go make a run at. The cleric beast. Well, I suppose burying is, is not an ideal way to maximally farm quicksilver bullets here. I'm gonna make some blood bullets, that way I'm not using up the real ones. Sub Dell and Nafi, how are you this morning? Unlocking emotes, I like it. Good stuff. Speaking of emotes, I still need to draw mine. Like I have, I think I have designs in mind for at least three, if not four. What news, Nick? Threaded cane is also serrated, but presumably only in whip mode. That, that is good to know. Oh, you, I, you said whip threaded cane is also serrated. I, I, I read that as, well, threaded cane is also serrated, <laughs> but... No, you were you were adding an adjective to threaded cane. Whip mode. Get whipped, buddy.
that bird still active? It is. So, what if I what if I drop down here but then climb the ladder? All right. Well, got up because you thought someone was softly knocking on your bedroom door. Already assessed that you were covered and said come in before you realized the only person who should be home was Dell. So, uh, I mean, ghosts, like, hopefully it's a friendly ghost. The wall of masks will freak them out and they will flee. Can't figure out how a ghost would have gotten past all the mirrors at the entry points. Well, so, I think that if, if you're well defended against ghosts, that it's probably, probably, maybe ghost cat. Maybe Ghost Cat was pawing at the door. Okay, yeah, so, so, right, here's, here's the, no, this is, mini bird town. And, yeah, that, that red lantern up there is, uh, little girl. Uh, you know what? PETA can have a taste of my threaded cane, and maybe Quicksilver bullets. I, uh, I'm not a not a not a big fan of PETA. If if you report me to the ASPCA, though, then then I'll take it seriously. Um, yeah. So this is where this is where the little girl is. Um. Yeah, I mean, Ghost Cat, like, we all know the Ghost Cat is a friendly ghost. And let's see. well equipped here. Just gotta take care of the birds and uh oh this guy I'm still in whip mode. Both modes of saw spear deer deal serrated. That's good. So except for the thrust, is that true? Because it looked like there were there were teeth on both edges of the, of the saw spear. Have a pebble. Ta! Three damage. Yeah, not 
Yeah. Oh, come on, dodge. Sometimes I am way too slow with my dodge weapon. But, uh, yeah. That's them. I'm at pretty much full health. I got four blood bullets. I've got lots and lots of stuff. Let's 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 fight this cleric beast. So gotta, gotta get behind it. And not get swiped by its hands. not clear that it was going to be able to grab me there. <sighs> it sure, it sure does. No aim, don't flame. Hello, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Alright, so let's see. Cleric beast, cleric beast. Let's just bog the cleric beast. You're trying to stay calm and focus. Yep, the, the <coughs> excuse me, the battle music on on the cleric beast is mighty excellent, but uh, not not exactly the most calming. Good news. DLC for Bloodborne and here it's music. Nice. Alright, let's make some blood bullets. Oh, I'm, I'm out of... Am I out of Molotovs as well? That's eh, a shame. Okay. Uh, so, blood bullets.
Yeah, so uh, scrolling back in chat, Nafi, uh, two to three times is, uh, I think, probably about a factor of ten, maybe five. I, I feel like I feel like I died to the the cleric beast at least five times before I did it with the axe, and I reckon I probably well. Given that I did defeat it with the axe in another playthrough, I don't know. Maybe, maybe two to three is accurate. I, I feel like it's an underestimate in my case, though. Alright. I want to go upstairs. I don't know why I... Like, go in here and whack these guys. What I want to do is get through to the top, but it just, it feels right. And I guess I probably don't need Quicksilver bullets, because the beast is not really good. Phase three, yeah, yeah. Luckily, the the cleric beast, like, it it does change its behavior a little bit, but it never changes its form, um, and it it never really changes the nature of its attacks. It's just the kind of the timing of, of when it does stuff changes. Like, swipe that, that gets it to, like, pick me up and slam me into the ground multiple Okay, I dodged the wrong way, but I can rally on that. No, did it grab me? It didn't. I missed with my 
bevel. There's an item over there. That's my best way to get behind it. All right, I should I should drink some water. Was it what is it? Okay, Charms calls it. <laughs> Try a refreshing H two O. Something like that. has four regardless of whether he shoots or not. Four from that guy, three from these guys. Not that I need Quicksilver bullets at this point. This guy always drops something, seems to usually be a blood vial.
feel like I'm I don't have a good sense of the distance and time when it leaps up in the air that that like if if I can like run forward far enough I, I might I might be able to get through but sometimes I don't get far enough and I just end up directly underneath the rear end of the cleric beast. Because of the, the, the way the viewpoints work, or um, because of the boss difficulty, or what? you're enjoying watching. I, oh, that guy doesn't always drop a thing. Interesting. I know I know you have said that you very much enjoy the uh, setting and story of the game. The angle changes and something about the design and the music would trick you. Yeah, so I definitely had to draw a map to to figure out where everything in Yarnum is, because it like goes over and under, and there are some places that look very similar to each other. Souls 1 and 2, look at all those pebbles, so thrilling. Uh, in Dark Souls 1 and 2, sometimes in, especially in like, high stress fight scenes, I'll get in this position where like, I can't tell where I am, and the camera angle is just like, not looking at anything that I need to be looking at. I should be in what mode? Uh, you missed me dying like three or four times to the, uh, the cleric beast, Nick. It's, uh... It's my end of my way. But I need to be at full health, close to it.
maybe I need to get closer to the torso after that. Blood vials left. It's also really tricky for me to uh, maintain my like not getting hit focus and read chat at the same time because my laptop's down here, but the screen is up there. So I think what I gotta do, if if I get that parry sound again, is um, get in closer, cause it looked like I was standing right next to the head, but like I gotta push right in, maybe even between the head and the torso. All right, so I am down to zero zero blood vials. Yeah, Bloodborne rewards the aggression of the player. It's true. Yeah, I was I was trying to be a bit dodgy there, but. Um, That's that is that is good advice. Like with the with the axe, I, I definitely felt comfortable just being like, yeah, I am going to hit hard. I'm going to hit repeatedly. I'm just gonna hit 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 hit. using these guys as, as proposed practice, for sure. Um, so yeah, I think Dogtown to Tall Boys is a good way to replenish my my blood vial supply here. What time is it anyway? 11.39. So we've got another 20 minutes. So that's probably enough time to farm up some blood vials. Make another run or two at Cleric Beast. The arm 
arm slam always leaves the head vulnerable. That's good to know. Like if I can if I can get the aim correct on that, I think that's gonna help me a lot. Cause yeah, like mostly I was just hitting the hand when when that happened, but um but yeah, if it if I can get the head more, that's that's gonna be I think my avenue to massive damage. Boots don't alert these guys. I should probably grab the bullets from that other guy. That's a coffin. Tips, old Bloodborne guide from when you started. Is is that a guide that you wrote yourself? Shots do stagger the cleric beast. Do I have to hit the head or torso? So it, I might, I might want to look into some, some quick silver tactics. If that's the case. Okay, so it's it, it it's not a single bullet like the way tall boys or swains would be staggered, or even those um, golems, the ones I call trolls. Uh, let's see. Platinum. What's a platinum run? So 2017 to 2020. Guide development by Nicholas. They're, they're not going to help me get blood vials. So platinum trophy. So is that like a... Uh, what, are, what are the criteria for the platinum trophy? Do you have to like 100% certain things or... What's the deal? Alright. The guy at the door should have some potential for blood vials. the achievements okay yeah yeah I don't I don't know how many of the achievements I have 
including DLC. So I, I don't know, if, I think I have not gotten the DLC yet, but uh, from what you've said of it, and just like the music and how fun it is, uh, it seems like it's well worth getting. Also remember that um, that I can buy blood vials with, with echoes. fast enough to not get hit by the second guy. Do the DLC after after finishing the whole game. Sub Waji, how you how, how are you doing? What's new? I mean, so far I love this game. I have not gotten very far in it, but I can only imagine that when, when the time comes that I'm nearing the end of it, I will be totally on board get the DLC. was like much bigger and then if I hit it a few times it kind of looked more like the right arm there's stuff going on that you don't want to discuss that's that's all right I, I like I hope I hope that it's not terrible terrible stuff and and I hope that uh, if it is bad stuff, that you'll get through to the other side soon. But I'm glad you're here, Waji. And I hope that uh, my play in Bloodborne is enjoyable. When hunters burn beasts, they appear intoxicated by the euphoria of the purification. get in the zone like the, the, when we were talking about aggression like I had these guys they didn't stand a chance but now they're just like my timing's all off and... 
Uh, hello. Uh, so the, the, the hunt's going all right. I, I was making some runs at the cleric beast. Right now, I'm trying to get uh, uh, blood vials. And how are you, Tealport? Good day to you. So let's see. What was it? Yeah. So I think if I get maybe up to about 15 or 16 blood vials, that, that'll be a good lead number for going at the cleric beast again. And uh, Nick has been giving me some excellent advice for dealing with the cleric beast, such as uh, serrated weapons are good against beasts. I don't have enough shards to do weapon upgrades right now. My my thread of cane is currently plus three, I wanna say. I got two shards, so that's not enough to upgrade this thread of cane plus three. I think my hunter pistol plus one wants five shards to upgrade. So if if I get some more shards, I can totally do it. Um, all right. So cleric beast, cleric beast. What's our best way to get there? Let's let's go through here. <coughs> do a pass through the dark house. Excuse me for that cough there. The air in my apartment has been drier than recently. So I gotta hydrate a little more to keep. From, and yeah, allergies for sure. Like I think I don't I don't have strong strong allergies, but for sure. Um. Yeah, I'm 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 doing all right. Like I, I think that I think Nafi might be onto something with the allergies angle. Like something about the, the the changing of the leaves is just there's enough something in the air that it's 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 just tickling my throat. It's not it's not like giving me a full on histamine reaction, but I'm also not at a hundred percent respiratory efficiency. Um, but I'm feeling good. I had my iced coffee this morning. Made myself a sausage, egg, and cheese. That was nice. seem like the the dodge button is not going through. Maybe maybe I I just gotta make sure that I'm not holding the controller on the opposite side of the laptop from <clears throat> from the PlayStation 4. Get, get, get those little Bluetooth signals in the right place. Alright, let's let's heal up all the way. Traverse the fog. Spot. Just a 
must have been like just a few pixels off. <laughs> started his 24-hour charity stream a little while ago. We should totally raid Dr. Rhino. Uh, I was going to say at noon, but it is a minute to noon. And since I just died to the cleric beast here, this... Well, I don't. I, I appreciate your optimism, TL Port, but I don't know. Do it, the, what, can, I, can, I, can I rush it in one minute? If, let's see how far I can get before the clock goes to 12 o'clock. Just like, I gotta get there, gotta get there. It's still 11.59. It's still 11.59. Okay. It's still 11.59. Gonna get there, gonna get there. Yep, yep, yep. Made it. Okay. <laughs> All bosses any percent. I have one blood vial, this is gonna be interesting. I wanna be in whip mode. There we go. So we're gonna go a little over because this fight is actually gonna take some minutes, but... Maybe if I get right up, right up in there, Marty. I'm running myself out of stamina.
stamina. I have no stamina. Halfway down, just through panic. <laughs> but let's let's go raid Doctor Rhino. This this 24-hour stream of his sounds like a real good real good idea. The, the game rewards being aggressive. That's that's his proof right there. Just getting getting that that creature down to half just by like panic attacking. Yeah, if I had a few more blood vials, that might have worked. All right, so we got. Dr. Rhino with an underscore. Let's go raid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this was a fun one. Glad y'all could come along with me. Thank you for watching. And I will be back at this next Sunday. Sa Saturday, Saturday. Sunday, Sunday is Hades Day. Um, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's go see what Dr. Rhino is up to.